Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck. Today I'm coming to you from my house. It's a Sunday morning, March 26. I'm going to try something a little bit different here using some rather primitive technology. But I want to talk a little bit about fire trucks today. And the picture on the screen is uh, one of the Phoenix Fire Department's, uh, the last ones they got, and they took delivery of it in December of 2021. And it's made by a company called Pierce Manufacturing, which is based out of Appleton, Wisconsin. Now, Pierce is the largest manufacturer of fire trucks or fire equipment uh, in the United States. It's not the largest in the world. That's Rosenbauer, because Rosenbauer uh, makes a lot of stuff in Europe. They're probably number two in the U.S. But Pierce is number one, and uh, there's a lot of people think that it's probably the best, the best truck out there. They're also one of the most expensive. But today I want to give you a little ha uh, hack about if you're interested in fire trucks, and some of us are, I'm an old, as you all know, I'm an old fire guy and I'm, I'm a fire apparatus buff, if you will. So I want to uh, talk a little bit about Pierce and, uh, and maybe give you a little, a little something to do if you want to try it. Well, Pierce is very popular in the state of Arizona. The, Tucson, which is the second largest city in Arizona, runs 100% Pierce fleet. Uh, Mesa, which is the third largest city in Arizona, runs 100% Pierce fleet. Uh, Gilbert, which I believe was just named the fourth largest city in Arizona, runs 100% Pierce fleet. And so do a couple other communities like uh, Scottsdale and Apache Junction and Queen Creek in the Phoenix metro area. But anyway, uh, Phoenix, uh, they run, up, they're about half Pierce right now, and they, they run some other brands as well. But uh, Phoenix has uh, some more tr uh, trucks being manufactured at Pierce right now. And if you're interested in fire trucks and how it's done, I figured I would uh, take you, show you how to go find it out. Uh, the dealer, the dealer for Pierce is an outfit called Hughes Fire Equipment, and they're, they're the dealer for several of the western states. If you want to watch these things while they're being, under, being built, actually at the Pierce plant week to week, I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to do that, let me switch over to Google. There's Google. Okay, now to type to Hughes Fire Equipment, I've got them highlighted here, but it's actually their website is HughesFire.com right there authorized pierce dealer there's their home page i'm getting some reflection off of here now for some reason i didn't have that before but go up here to sales click on sales and it'll come down it'll say construction photos go over here they have aerial ladders they have commercial pumpers they have custom pumpers click on that That'll bring you to this screen. Then you can scroll down. These are all the trucks that Hughes has under construction. If you notice here now, we have job number 3749901, Phoenix Fire Department, Phoenix, Arizona. And they're up to 05 now. They're, now there might be more in this order, but that's the only ones that are shown right now. So if you click on the little icon over here on the side, it'll give you a pull down. Over here is actually the approval drawing. So you can click on that if you want to see what the blueprint of the truck looks like. And then these items here are the week to week photo documentation of the truck that's, as it's being built. It's only into week three right now. So there's not a whole lot of information on there, but you can go on that and you can actually watch as the truck gets built. It'll take about 13, 14 weeks in order to get the truck built. So Phoenix has, as I said, five of them under construction right now. Uh, their fleet, uh, their engines is about half Pierce right now, and they've got a, they're really behind on their equipment replacement. Uh, Phoenix used to have a, a policy that they would run their trucks uh, eight years front line, four years reserve, and then get rid of them. And they used to call that eight, four, and out the door. Uh, being the way the economy's been the last few years, they haven't been able to keep up with that. So they're kind of behind now, and they're still running some old American LaFrance units that have been, you know, they should have been put out to pasture a long time ago. Some of them have been run hard and put away wet, and they're pretty wore out. 
So Phoenix is actively trying to uh, to replace their fleet. Uh, they currently run, uh, I believe it's 59 fire stations and something like 79, 75 engines or something like that. They're a pretty busy outfit. And they have, uh, they're really behind in building new stations and replacing equipment. But that's a little hack if you wanna watch the trucks being built for this next order for Phoenix. And I checked the drawing versus the last one that I showed you the picture of. And they're, uh, it's pretty much the same. So you can kind of get an idea of what the finished product will look like. So that's the Phoenix design of truck. So a little hack for you today, as I always tell you, uh, take care of each other, love each other. Uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. And for now, peace out.